What's going on guys? My name's Caleb Trackengast. This is Buffalo Creek Outdoors. Today's video is a pretty awesome video. For those of you that are interested in a bulletproof, just built like a tank site that's gonna work for everything from target archery all the way to the Rocky Mountain West, chasing elk on the side of the mountain. If y'all are interested in a site like that, you don't wanna miss this video. Let's jump on into it. We the best, best, no contest. My click is the best. There ain't no one like cause of you dumb or you crazy There's no way G, me and my clique we handling biz While you and your clique just act full gazy You couldn't persuade me to give a damn it this don't phase me I got my Xbox, she can't play me Money in a text box, I get paid Alright guys, so I've actually got a couple different brands built into this site uh, the main uh, site bar and assembly here is a HHA Tetra Max Rise 3. The reason I got the three, I'll kind of step into here in a minute, but it has three indicator pins on it. In my personal opinion on HHA is it's between them and Spot Hog for the most just bomb proof site bar assembly, um, just straight out of the box. There's nothing wrong with the scopes that they have. Um, I just, there was an option out there that I was really intrigued by. I don't, I think I saw it on um, Dan Staten's YouTube channel, Elk Shape. Um, I think I saw it there first, um, which kind of leads me into the next part of the site, which is the Dark Owl. This is their Stealth um, 41 scope. So, like I said, I saw it on Dan's web or Dan's YouTube channel, and it really intrigued me because I've really been in the market for a vertical multi-pin site, a vertical pin multi-pin site. If you've seen my videos in the past, I've been shooting a four pin, a three pin, and a four pin um, horizontal style pin, black gold, for the last probably six or eight years. That's what I've shot is black gold. Now, with that being said, um, I was, like I said, I was in the market for a vertical pin and I wanted a multiple pin side option, but what I didn't want was a really bulky option and I didn't want a two pin. I wanted at least three pins and I wanted something that was gonna allow me to shoot 20, 30, 40 or 20, 30, 40, 50, something like that. I didn't want to have to shoot like 22, 35 and 45, 47. Like, a lot of the guy, a lot of the site options out there that are not independently adjustable. That's kind of how it is. You just get what you get. The thing that Cody has done here, and what really intrigued me to the site is, it's a steel pin house or steel pin assembly. But there's there it was, there's a single pin option, which is the one I got to begin with, and I'll tell you that story here in a minute. There's a three pin option, and there's a four pin option. I elected to go with the three pin option and I'll tell you why. So what I like where the way Cody has his set up is he has multiple pin options and he has a, a, a couple charts on his website that actually allow you, depending on what site assembly you're using, what site bar you're using, uh, allows you to figure out which site pin you need to buy. Each one of his site pins, the 20, 30, 40 or whatever your range is, but 20, 30, 40 is kind of how this is set up. They are slightly gapped differently to match your bow's speed, arrow setup, tape setup, and things like that. So what I did is um, I spoke with Cody. I met Cody at the ATA show this year, and I was just sitting there chit-chatting. He's a prior Air Force guy. I'm still in the Air Force, so we kind of hit it off on that aspect, just chit-chatting back and forth, talking about my YouTube channel. He had actually seen my bow reviews on YouTube um, before we met. And uh, we talked back and forth and I was like, Cody, as soon as I get my, my bow set up in, I'm gonna buy one of these scopes from you. And that's kind of where we left off. Um, full ex disclosure here, about two, three months later, Cody reached out to me and was like, hey man, I wanna send you one of my sites. And I was like, sweet. I mean, heck yeah, I was already gonna buy this thing. so. Um, I'll definitely do a video on it and that's kind of where we uh, got to this point. He's got my logo etched on here and it's just phenomenal. I can't speak highly enough about this entire setup. HHA as a company is awesome. Their product is awesome. Dark Owl as a company is awesome. And uh, I like to support American made companies, which both of these are. 
I like to support people that support veterans, which both of these companies do. Um, Anyway, it's kind of best of both worlds. That's why I ended up with what I ended up with. Now, the reason that I ended up going with the three pin version, because this is based on a slight range of speed options and aero setups and things like that, things can make a difference, um, especially at longer distances. He has, like I said, a four pin option, which is like I would shoot it at 20, 30, 40, 50. I stayed with the three pin option because three pins is enough for me. Most of my shots are going to be inside of 40. And if they're not, I need to adjust for the exact yardage more than likely. That's the best option. Um, and inside of 40, if your pin is slightly off, it's not going to be nearly as noticeable as it will like 50 plus. Um, over the years, my bow setups have around that 50 to 60 yard mark, somewhere in that range is where I see a significant drop um, in my arrow from 40 to 70. That is, it's usually that six, 50 to 60 range is where I see that drop. So I elected to stay with the three pin version and I have it set up at 20, 30, and 40. Um, so what I wanna go ahead and do while I'm talking about my sight setup is I want to go into how to actually change um, the pins out on this site because the cool thing about Cody's sites are you buy the site housing um, as, a, as a whole unit. You pick your pin option, you pick your pin color option, you pick all the options that you want, you buy it once. If you choose to change your pins out, if you change setups, if you change arrows, if you change draw weight, whatever you change, if it changes your pin to where it's no longer lining up, it's like $30, $35 or $32 on Cody's website to buy a new pin, which is awesome because it really didn't take me all that long to change this pin out. And it gives you multiple options with the same site housing. Now what some guys do is they'll buy two housings uh, and this inner housing actually slips apart um, and it's like a little cartridge, almost like the UV slider sights. Um, it's just a little cartridge that pulls out and you can actually buy that cartridge from him and just change those out if you choose to do so. I had elected just to buy the pin, um, because I knew I didn't want to shoot a single pin. It was nice while I shot it. Um, but I don't like shooting a single pin, <clears throat> excuse me, for a hunting sight. So that's why I just went ahead and bought the pin from Cody. So let's go ahead and kind of jump on into how you change this pin out if you choose to do that. So first of all, you're gonna pull a top screw and a bottom screw out of this sight housing. Then you're gonna separate the two halves. You're gonna have the cartridge in one hand and you leave just the rest of it on your bow. So inside that cartridge, you actually have a screw on the bottom that goes straight to your pin base and that's how you swap your pins um, depending on what pin you want to shoot. Uh, when you buy this pin from Cody, it's going to come with a, the tubing already on it. What you'll have to do is you'll actually have to feed your tubing and stuff out of your cartridge uh, and work your pin out that way. And then what you want to do once you have that pin out is you want to actually fish that fiber optic all the way back around um, and go ahead and slide your fiber optic through your pin. Now, when you look at this multi, multiple pin um, pin post, you'll actually see that there's a groove on both sides of the pin post. One groove is smaller and one groove is bigger. The smaller groove is for the upper pin um, position and then the wider groove on the other side is for the, two pin, the bottom two pin positions. So you'll feed your fiber through there and Cody's sites, the cool thing about them is they have, they come, they have 18 inches of fiber, um, which is an additional six inches compared to most other site options on the market. So these things are super, super bright. Now, once you feed that fiber optic through there, one big thing is you want to make sure your uh, tubing butts up to the edge of the groove there, but not all the way up to the base of the pin because once you, if you run it all, to, all the way to the base of the pin, your two halves will not mate, mate back together like they should. So you wanna run that tubing to the base 
um, of that groove where it starts going around the site and then you just want to work your way around with that tubing. Now Cody when he sends these he sends you quite a bit of extra fiber on there just in case you break one or mess up and you need to clip it and go on um, which I ended up having to do that when I put this thing together. Um, but anyway you fish that thing around and then when you get done kind of getting everything where you need to you want to get your pin fibers um, essentially exactly where you want them. You don't want them really loose um, because what you want to do is you want to take a pair of scissors and you want to cut that fiber till it's about a 32nd of an inch or so from where your dot your fiber dots are actually going to be from your actual the face of your pin post. And then you want to take a lighter and just take and take that lighter and just burn those ends, just hit them a couple times until they curl up or melt up to the sight post, and then you're done. Now, once you get done putting that pin on, what I recommend is if you're going to stay with that setup, take some Loctite. I use something called Vibratite, and I put that on my screws for my pin, and then once I attach my assemblies back together, I put it on both of the screws that hold the sight housing together. It may be overkill, but I don't like to have to worry about my stuff coming loose. Now, I will say this. I did what Cody said. I sighted my bow in with my arrow setup that I was gonna that I'm gonna use. I figured out like everything that I needed to figure out, and I went to his chart on his website before I picked this pin. Now this pin is his P310, just to just for reference. This pin is a P310 option on his website. I'm shooting 290 feet a second with a 300 or 431 grain arrow. And that sight tape that I'm using on this HHA is a 42. So with all of that in mind, that ended up lining up with that P310 sight post. And I wasn't sure exactly how it was going to, you know, line up if it was going to be exactly 20 30 40 but i'm happy to say when i went out there in the yard today and shot it uh 40 i was i shot one arrow at each target one arrow at each target one arrow at each target and i just kept doing that just to double check but i'll show you my um arrow at 40 then 30 then 20. uh i was extremely excited to say that they lined up exactly i know a lot of you guys are worried about buying a fixed three pin sight like this because uh, if you change setups, you know, you're gonna have to go through all this again. And yes, you are, but at the same time, if you're like me and you find a setup that you like, uh, you're set. So here's 40. Uh, top of the dot could be me, but that shot felt pretty good. So let's go ahead and go back to third shot at 30. This is pretty sweet. I ain't gonna lie guys, like I said earlier in the video, this is hands down my favorite setup I've ever had. One shot at 30. All right, move up to 20. And right there's 20. Now, because this pin, the site has three indicators, that's pretty pretty cool there because I can actually have my stop, my dead my dead stop on my on my um, HHA set to 20. My top pin indicator be 20, middle 30, bottom 40. So then, as I rotate my sight scope around or my sight wheel around. As my scope comes down, my bottom indicator then becomes my rover as far out as I can go. So far, I've shot this bow out to 120, like three yards or so, and I can still barely clear my sight housing. So this bow, with the way I've got it set up, about 123 is all I'm gonna get. Maybe 125 at the most is about all I'm gonna get out of it, but it's a hunting bow. I'm shooting this Matthews Lift 29 and a half. If you haven't seen my build video, go check that out. But that's pretty much it guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the specs up, all the uh, cool things that 
are the options of this Tetra Max Rise 3, as well as the specs and the options on this Dark Owl Archery um, Stealth 41 sight scope. He also has a new scope out, which I believe is his Stealth 31, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I'll, I'll put it in this video, which is just a smaller sight scope. I like the bigger sight scope myself for what I do, but I think that smaller sight scope is going to lend itself more to, to the target archers than it is to the hunters, but it works for both. But a couple of the cool features just to shout out right off the bat is Cody can engrave and he can have the powder, or not powder coat, Cerakote done on these sight scopes to whatever you want. Like I said, he put my Buffalo Creek logo on the side of this one for me. Uh, and the big thing about this sight for me, guys, is I wanted something that was super durable, something I didn't have to worry about beating up on the side of the mountain. Uh, when you fall, when you hit a tree, when you bust your pack up against something and your bow's on it, I didn't want to have to worry about a fragile sight and even though black gold is tough some of their adjustments are kind of crude um, on the sights that i've had and i wanted something that was not really easier to adjust but really almost like it's more simple i should say like if i i don't want to have to worry about things coming loose and i don't want to have to worry about adjusting this thing on the side of the mountain but if i have to the option is there um, the cool thing about this site in particular, uh, my windage is all toolless adjustment. So if I have to make a small adjustment, I don't need Allen wrench to do that. Um, the cool thing I've liked so far about my vertical, uh, using a vertical pin versus a horizontal pin like I was using is the fact that I've noticed I am not drifting one way or the other of my target. Whereas before I was kind of like hovering I guess it would be this way. I was kind of hovering my pins to one side of the dot. It's like a, almost like a target panic that I had created for myself. I've noticed with this vertical pin, I haven't had that. I've been able to really settle in on the dot and just squeeze through my shot process. Um, and so far, like I said earlier, this is by far my favorite sight setup that I've ever had. So like I said, I'm gonna link this, this, the uh, specs and stuff in this video. Uh, for both of these products, for the Dark Owl Stealth 41 and the HHA uh, Tetra Max Rise 3. Keep in mind, guys, if you are a military veteran or currently serving, there is a pretty big discount through HHA um, for military service members. And then uh, Cody, like I said, served in the military for quite a few years. And if you just like to support veteran-owned and uh, American-made products, you definitely don't want to miss out on either one of these. I've been very impressed with these guys. I can't say enough about them. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Uh, I love bringing these videos to you guys, but your comments and your likes and subscribing to the videos, they really help uh, keep me going on this channel. I don't make much on YouTube, but the little bit that I do make helps me continue to buy product and uh, work with Grafton Archery to get all this stuff put together and get these videos out to you guys. So once again, guys, if you have any questions, please comment down below. Comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see, what kind of videos you want to see here in the near future. Uh, and if I get enough um, comments towards one style of video, I'll definitely do that. Uh, if you have any archery related questions, don't hesitate to give the, the guys up at Grafton Archery a call at 704-855-1300. They'll be more than happy to help you with any kind of archery related stuff that you might have or get you set up with a brand new bow. Uh, and then, check, like I said, check out Cody at Dark Owl Archery. Special thanks to him for sending this site out to me. Uh, great product, Cody, honestly. Like, this is a legitimate, like, top of the line, in my opinion, the best option out there for a backcountry elk hunter like myself that wants a, ver a vertical pin, multi-pin option that's going to be dead on 20, 30, 40. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. Like I always say, remember to live your life to the fullest and use your passions to bless others. We'll catch you on the next video.